Well, L.A. Lakers superstar Kobe Bryant has retired. Now, he announced his decision to quit the game with a poem. So I thought I'd give it a shot as well to help us bid Bryant farewell. Kobe Bryant dribbles no more. The L.A. Lakers star player has left the floor. He called it quits by putting his words into rhyme, saying he could no longer ignore the curfew of father time. Kobe's challenges were not light or easy to take. His troubled marriage, he was once even accused of rape. On the court, season for season, now this folks was for real, especially proving he had what it takes without Shaquille O'Neal. And now, after 20 years, this non-nomad of the L.A. basketball net says time's up, no overtime. This is as good as it gets. Kobe Bryant supporters came from all over for his farewell game. Inside, the Staples Center was awash with celebrities, all of them eager to witness NBA history in the making. No other player's ever been with the same team for 20 years, ever. He's always been here and he's always been in Los Angeles and he's always played great for us. You know, it's like any other virtuoso. Over the years, Bryant won five NBA championships with the Lakers. He's number three on the list of the top scorers of all time. This game was a tribute. Okay, I'm putting on my jersey. I'm saying, okay, this is the last time we're going to put on a jersey. Dun, 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 right? You know what I mean? And then this is the last time I ran out of the tunnel. Dun, 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 <laughs> you know? And it, like, when those moments happen, you, you catch yourself. And you start getting really emotional. And then I say, okay, you got to block that out. During his career, he's also had to block out the fans of his opponents. Shoemaker Nike salutes them and Bryant in a new ad. They sing about how much they'll miss to hate him. And yes, in his last game, he did give Utah Jazz fans a reason to hate him. The Lakers won. Kobe Bryant scored 60 points. All right, our Chris Harrington, the sports guru, is here in the studio with me. I mean, Chris, that was an incredible final game. Yes, I mean, it was. Unbelievable. I, I, was, I, I looked at it, I thought it was kind of like the Super Bowl halftime show for the NBA in a way, wasn't it? Yeah, but it was well-deserved, especially yeah. being at the Staples Center, no doubt about it. Unbelievable turnout. They had a video tribute, you know, featuring a lot of current stars, past stars, even Jack Nicholson. Thank Kobe Bryant for his inspiration. We always saw Jack on the sidelines of yeah. Laker games. Wow. And he gave a speech. And then the icing on the cake, he dropped 60 points. Hey, that's the way to go out, I'd say. Talk to me about the name Kobe. What, what, where did Interesting, that come from? right? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Anyone who's traveled outside the United States might be familiar with Japan and right. Kobe. And his parents were actually dining one evening at a Japanese restaurant, and they saw Kobe's steak, and they fell in love with the name, and the rest is history. We all saw it play out. And, and just before we, we talk about the basketball player, I want to talk a little bit about, um, you know, the boy, the young man. He right. had to learn English as a teenager, and a That's lot of right. people didn't That's realize right. that. That's yeah. right. He actually moved from the U.S. to Italy when he was five years old before he could really develop communication skills. Then when he moved back entering high school, he couldn't understand the slang, couldn't communicate in any way. He was very uncomfortable, very shy person, but the only way he could communicate and gain acceptance was through his skill sets on the hardwood. I yeah. mean, kids would see how good he was, and then he turned into a legend at uh, Lower Marion, where he, where he went to high school. You could even buy his jersey at a very hefty penny. Yeah, I mean, you use the word legend. How important um, has he been to the NBA and to the game of basketball? Well, when I think about Kobe Bryant, I think of the letter L, love. You know, for one, that's very important to watch someone play out because he's definitely dedicated to the game. He even wrote a poem about it. Yeah. Loyalty. He's played the most seasons in NBA history with one franchise, 20 seasons. That's a lot. That's a generation. That's, that's a monogamous player. Incredible. Me, Lakers. Yeah. Lakers is synonymous with basketball. We yeah. saw Showtime, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, now Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal, and then Kobe Bryant again. That era, unbelievable. And then he'll go down as a legend because as a Laker... Most points scored in Laker history, most minutes played in Laker history, Amazing. most steals, only second assists. You know, of course, you got to give that to Magic Johnson. I mean, it is amazing. 
Did we always know that he was going to be this good? This good. The third all-time scorer in NBA history. This good. He's a legend, believe yeah. me. But we didn't know because he was the first player to be drafted in the NBA as a high school guard, okay? It's a safer bet to draft big guys. And he was the sixth player to go prep to pro. His coming out party rookie season wins the slam, slam dunk contest. Then, 2005, absent Shaquille O'Neal, we really saw him coming to uh, true form yeah. against Dirk Nowinski, a German great basketball That's player, right. Dallas Mavericks, 2005. Dropped 62 points in only three quarters. The coach benched him for the rest of the game. He was beating the Mavericks by himself that same season, scored 81 points, most in the NBA history. Okay, all right, that was then. The past season not been so good um, right, for him. Okay. Should he have retired earlier? You know, some people might say, but he's a fighter. I think that, you know, he was wanting to do things that his body couldn't. You know, we really saw that in the poem he expressed, but he hurt his back his rookie season. Then goes his Achilles. Then goes his shoulder, knee. I mean, he you could argue, but I think his love for the game, it's hard to walk away when you're that good. I, I, I agree. It's difficult. I mean, it, it's it difficult. Is, it, well, is, this the, is this going to be his final retirement? Um, I think his body can't take it anymore. I mean, he expressed that exact sentiment in the poem that he wrote. Yeah. Dedicated to the, his love for basketball. So, yeah. you know, I think we all can see that and agree. It's nice that fans can see a somewhat of a flash of past greatness. For him to score 60 points, that's a great way to go out yep. rather than, you know, crippled and walking off the court. I see you brought your um, basketball right, in. Right, I mean, right. He's passed the baton, right? Or the right. basketball. Yes. Who is, who's going to fill his shoes? Well, I think right now what you have to look at the reigning MVP, Steph Curry, you know, the uh, outstanding guard, the babyface assassin from outside for the Golden State Warriors. They just won the most games in NBA history after just winning. They're looking like they'll repeat. I think it definitely goes to Steph Curry. And the crazy, crazy thing enough about Kobe Bryant, yeah. he would have been drafted to the Charlotte Hornets and would have actually been a teammate with Steph Curry's oh father. Oh, okay. okay. That's how long he's been playing. A teammate with Steph Curry's father. So we're talking about a two-generational player here. Right, definitely, definitely. The game has changed. You know, and a lot of people shared the stage with Kobe Bryant. We saw the fading away of Michael Jordan. We saw that. We saw Carl Malone. He was one of his teammates. We yeah. saw Gary Payton. All of these typically old-school players in the new school. Carmelo Anthony, LeBron James. They were always playing second fiddle to All Kobe right. Bryant. I'm going to take that. Look, I say you pull me that. Yeah, cool. yeah I could dunk, that. too, but, I mean, yeah. not like Kobe. Take that right there. Exactly. All, All right. right, Chris Harrington, as always, thank you, man. We appreciate it. We're, we're almost done with the day. Like every day, this is a work in progress, just like our basketball game here. We'd <laughs> like to know what you think. You can share your thoughts, your ideas on Twitter, either at DW News or at Brent Goff TV. There you see it. Please remember to use hashtag the day. And remember, whatever happens between now and then and, and on the court, tomorrow is another day. We'll see you then, everybody.